Hi everyone. Um, so, as you know, I've been posting in the group um, last week um, asking for people to email me um, any sort of struggles that they were having right now. And I had a couple. And so what I'm going to do is over the next few days, I'm going to be coming in live and helping you because basically if you don't know, I am an EFT practitioner and I help women with eating disorders, um, anorexia and bulimia in particular, and um, I use EFT in my work. Now, um, you know, I'm a great believer that um, the, the eating disorder is very much a as a result of things that we negative beliefs that we have about ourselves, our mindset, there's something that's happened that we feel that we can't cope with, can't control with. So it's not a choice, but it's been a way to deal with the stresses in our lives. You know, the things that we feel that we can't deal with. And so whereas I'm saying, I'm not saying that I can, you know, in these kind of like short videos, I can help you with those those need kind of like more work, um, you know, with a, with a practitioner such as myself or somebody else. Um, but what I want to do is just show you a way of dealing with any struggles or symptoms. Now, as I always say in these videos, it's never a case of just doing things once and hoping that that's, that's going to be the end of it because it's not. Um, you know, these things are very much ingrained in you. There's this kind of, you know, there's a lot of rules and behaviours and things that you follow and that you don't want to let go of. And it's tricky. You know, tricky is an understatement. I'll just put out there. You know, it's damn hard. And, um, and so I just wanted to, you know, to give you something to show you has something that might just help you and but as I say it needs perseverance it does it's not about doing this once and then going away and expecting everything to be okay um, you need to kind of keep persevering with this it's you know the thing is recovery is possible it really is um, but it does take work you have to persevere you have to kind of like do the work in order to, to you know to get your goal it's like the same thing with you know sitting exams and and learning new things and and you know a, a achieving a project or setting up a business and you know you wouldn't set up a business and then kind of like you know expect everything to be perfect from day one it's not like that you have to put you know you have to put the effort into it and it's hard i'm not saying that it's easy you but that's ultimately it, nobody can fix you and as I always say I have no magic wand you know and I'm here to support you as best as I can but ultimately you know you need to kind of work out whether you're ready you know whether you're ready you're willing and able to kind of move forward with this and um, and if you are then great and um, and if you're not, but and you're still scared, and I completely understand that, but this is just to kind of give you a bit of a, a bit of an introduction into what I do. Okay, so I'm going to teach you the EFT is uh, emotional freedom techniques. It's otherwise called um, tapping. And basically, so I'm going to go through the tapping points, and we're going to do this exercise right now. Um, if you're watching on the replay, you can just follow along with me. Okay, so the tapping points are, we start off with what we call the karate chop point, and that's just tapping on the fleshy underside of the hand there. And then we go to the top of the head, just patting at the top of the head, and then we go to the start of your eyebrow, where your eyebrow sort of starts there. And then we go to the side of the eye, this kind of like a bony part, just the side there. Under the eye, a bony part, just underneath. Under the nose, on the ridge between the lip and the nose. Under the chin, there's kind of like a ridge on your chin, just under the mouth there. And then there's a collarbone point. And basically, if you know where your collarbone is, that kind of bone that goes across, mine is bro it was broken, so mine might look a bit squiffy. But um, if you just tap along your collarbone there, 
and you're going to get that. Um, then we have under the arm and for a woman it's usually in line with your bra strap there. Um, and then we have the fingertip points and you're basically tapping on the side of your fingertips so the bit that goes that's basically between the nail and your skin so you're just tapping on the sides of the fingertips all the way around each finger and then back to the karate chop point and that is the whole sequence so it's really really i know it might say oh my gosh i can't remember those but it's once you do it regularly, once you do it a few times, it soon becomes second nature. It's very, very quick to learn. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to do what's called a tapping script based on um, one of the emails that I got through. But you can use this on anything that you want to. And if, you're, if you do this, if you're interested and you want sort of like me to send you through like... Um, the tapping sequence and uh, a worksheet which kind of like shows you how you can use it then email me uh, kim at kiss goodbye to anna that's all one word and anna is obviously just a n a dot com so kim at kiss goodbye to anna dot com email me and i will send you um those two sheets um okay so we're going to get straight into the the tapping script or the the tapping um, work now and I just want you to follow along with me um, I'm just going to be repeating some words and I'm going to be tapping along and I want you to just follow me a bit like Simon says and so I'm going to try if I remember um, and leave a blank in between sort of things so basically I want you to sort of repeat what I say after I've said it in the blank if that makes sense so, okay, so we're gonna go with that now. So I want you to tap on the collarbone, uh, sorry, on the karate chop point, And I want you to say, after me, of course, even though I feel guilty, if I'm unable to do exercise, I completely love and accept myself, okay? Even though I feel terrible at the thought of not doing exercise, I completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though part of me knows that compulsive exercise isn't great, I choose not to beat myself up. Okay, so then we're going to go to the top of the head. I feel guilty if I'm unable to exercise. Start of the eyebrow. I will get fat if I don't exercise. I must exercise to burn off food I have eaten. I must exercise to burn off food that I'm about to eat. The food I eat will just sit around and go on to my body. I cannot allow myself to eat unhealthy foods. I just don't have enough time to earn it. I won't be able to exercise enough. But the thought of exercising, even, makes me feel tired and exhausted. It feels like a chore. Part of me needs to exercise. Part of me feels guilty if I don't exercise. But the other part of me would welcome not exercising. As I feel so tired and exhausted. I don't even like exercise. But it feels like I have to. 
I have no choice if I want to eat. Exercise gives me permission to eat. I need permission to eat. I need permission to eat. But who from? Who tells me that it's okay to eat? Who would I listen to? Who would I accept permission from? But it's okay to eat if I do exercise to burn it off. The recommended daily allowance for women is 2,000 calories. Who expects anyone to do four hours of swimming per day? Or seven hours walking to burn off every single calorie? Is that something I'd expect others to do? Or is this a rule that just applies to me? Why am I punishing myself so much? Why do I feel like I deserve this? There is part of me that knows it's okay to eat. And it's okay to do exercise to stay healthy. Or for enjoyment. But who is this voice telling me to feel guilty if I don't exercise? Why should I feel guilty not exercising if I feel tired? Can I be ill and not exercise? Would the voice tell me to exercise then? When would the voice be quiet? When would enough be enough? When will the voice leave me alone? And say, it's okay. You've done enough. I've been listening to this voice for so long. But where has it got me? Am I happy? Do I want to be happy? Because if I do, I need to eat. Eating doesn't mean getting fat. It means getting stronger. It means feeling better. It means I have more energy to fight this horrible voice in my head. But the voice doesn't want that. It wants me weak. It wants me so I can't or don't want to fight. Because then it wins. And I lose. But I choose to fight. I choose to listen to the part of me that wants to get stronger. I choose to relax knowing that it is possible. I choose to let go of any fear and guilt 
because that's just wasted energy. And I choose to use positive energy to get stronger. I choose happiness. I choose freedom. I choose life. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. So that was literally just a few minutes just to give you an idea of what tapping is, how it can be used. And it's basically about, you just say any kind of like, you know, you think about how you feel, what's the emotion that you feel when you think of something. And it could be something that you're struggling with. It could be like exercise. It could be um, with trying to eat a meal, you know, follow a meal plan. When you, ha you know, when you're at this situation, when it comes to, you know, you don't want to do the, you want to challenge not doing the exercise. You want to, you know, challenge yourself to eat something. Um, you know, think about how it makes you feel. What are the thoughts going on in your head? Um, you know, when you think of that and just tap, just do the tapping, tap through the points because these are what's called meridian energy points and similar to acupuncture points, but obviously we don't use needles, we just do the tapping. And it just, hopefully you would have found that, you know, if you followed along there, you would have found that there was just a little bit, you know, as I said, I don't expect it all to be gone away in just a few minutes like that. Um, but if you keep persevering, if you just, you know, keep tapping to try and bring that, you know, let go of those horrible feelings that you're having, you know, the, the fear, the guilt, the anxiety, um, maybe anger, frustration, all of that stuff. And just by doing the tapping, it will just allow you to just relax a little bit, feel a little bit more calm. And as I said, the more that you do this, the bigger influence it will have, the easier it will get, the more difference it will start making um, to you. But as I said, the real work needs to be about the root issues of your eating disorder. You know, the negative beliefs that you have about yourself, your whole mindset. You know, like I said in there about, you know, punishing yourself. Why do you feel that, you know, it's okay to treat yourself this way? I mean, you wouldn't treat, you know, you wouldn't wish it on anybody, would you? You know, you don't wish it on your worst enemy. You wouldn't want them to live with this. But we feel that it's okay and the straight, you know, and it's like, it seems, you know, when I look back now and I think, God, why was I clinging to that with dear, you know, you cling to it with dear life. Um, and, you know, I totally get it. I totally get it. Um, but that's your mindset, you know, that is the way that you feel about yourself and you feel about life. And so the real work will come if you can work with somebody, you know, whether it's me or somebody else and, you know, use that, you know, use the tapping that I've just done. We, you know, I do one-to-one -one sessions with, with people seriously changing their, their mindset. You have to kind of, again, it's not just one EFT session or the odd one or two or anything like that it involves work. Um, but if you're willing to do that, you know, and, and do this tapping regularly, that will, it's the thing that helped me the most in my recovery. And I work with, with clients with this, and it's the thing that I see them doing brilliantly with. And, um, you know, and I'd love to be able to help you in the same way, but I understand that it's not easy. I understand that there's a lot of fear involved. Um, you know, and I understand that, that whole need to kind of like grasp on with, with dear life. I get that. I was the same. Um, you know, but if you are in a place where, you know, you've kind of come to that point and you go, I can't, you know, I can't just keep going on. This is just too much now. You know, this is just, is as much as I, I want to grasp on, 
I don't know what I'm grasping onto anymore and it just feels really hard and, and you know life is just crap right now um if you're feeling like that and you want to just chat to me you know about your options chat to me whether I'd be right to work with or you know if there's another option you know you have other options where you live um you know and you're torn between what to do and you know which one to I'll happily chat to you do you know at the end of the day I just want to see people feel better about themselves I hate that people you know I mean I've punished myself for so long you know and and I hate what I did to myself but you know um <sighs> It's now given me the chance to help other people. So in a way, I don't know, maybe it was meant to be. Maybe that was, this has always been my calling or whatever you want to call it, um, that I was supposed to do that. So, you know, if you want some help, whatever, in whatever way it is, please just get in touch with me and um, I'll help you in any way that I possibly can. Um, yeah, so I will be back again tomorrow. Um, I think, did I? Yes, I think it's four o'clock again tomorrow. And then it will be 12 o'clock on Thursday. And, um, and maybe one on Friday as well. Seeing, but if you have, if you're watching this and you haven't emailed me with any struggles and you would like to do that, um, again, if you'd like the, the couple of the, the tapping sequence and the, worksheet that kind of like gives you an idea of how to use this then um, email me uh, it's kim at kissgoodbyetoanna.com and I look forward to receiving your emails um, Macy I think you have you've joined me it's great to have you on hope you're well and uh, Stacy I think I can see you as well I think there's somebody else but I am not sure who because it doesn't tell it's a bit odd because sometimes it sort of like tells me and sometimes it says that people are saying hi and, and things like that, but not all the time. So if I, I'm definitely not ignoring you if you said hi to me or anything like that. So, um, but yes, uh, it's lovely to have you on with me. Thank you very much for joining me. It's always nice to have people on. Um, so yes, so watch the re keep watching this replay over and over again to keep tapping on this if you feel this is a a thing that you know is relevant to you and if you want to change the wordings you want to add things on you know then do that because it needs to be relevant to you to your thoughts your feelings your emotions so i hope you found that helpful please feel free to email me as i said or if you're watching on the replay or you know you're you're doing the tapping let me know how you get on. Um, and uh, yeah, and have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. All right, take care. Lots of love. Bye.